Hey, Sam Bell here. I wanted to record this quick video just to show you uh, this new tool that recently rolled out. Now, everyone does not have access, access to this yet, uh, but you will be getting it. Uh, if you live in the United States, more than likely you already have it, and that is Audience Insights. Uh, now, what Audience Insights allows you to do is it basically, Facebook gives you an interface where you can actually go and build your own custom audiences for targeting uh, based on uh, specific settings. Um, and a question, uh, somebody asked a question uh, in the uh, in the mastermind group. So I just wanted to record this and walk you through how you may be able to really drill down and identify people uh, you want to target. So um, I'll actually use the example question that was uh, that was asked, and uh, and the question I believe said, you know, if I want to target uh, people who are married to nurses, how would you do that? Uh, so there's a few different layers that you can add to come up with this, and you got to kind of think about you know the target audience as well. Now the majority of nurses are female, however there are some male nurses as well, but we're just going to do this thinking from a traditional standpoint with nurses being females and we wanted to say target their <clears throat> target their husbands and uh, this really gives us some some real good insight so uh, so this is how we would do it so first of all I'm going to expand here we're going to have United States age and gender uh, I'm going to select 25 and older and I'm going to select men so men who live in the United States who are 25 25 years and older and they have a interest let's go here uh, let's see interest I'm going to expand that and nursing so people who have expressed an interest in or like related to nursing okay so right now I have an audience size of men in the United States who are 25 years and older who have an interest in uh, nursing. Well now we want to get a little bit more specific so um, I'm going to look at relationships, relationship status and I'm going to say married. Okay, So I'm going to say men in the United States who are 25 years and over who have uh, an interest in nursing who are also married so you can see here our, our audience size has now scaled down to 450 to 500,000 and one of the other things that uh, that uh, that audience insights also gives us is you know what other interests their lifestyles uh, education level as well as job title so if you want to come up with some other ways that you can target this particular uh, this particular audience, you can need, maybe look at be able to look at going after military because it says um, of the selected audience, 23% of these individuals are military people. So you may be able to target people in the military and find that a majority of married men in the in the military uh, may have uh, wives who uh, are are nurses. And you can see here we have uh, another 16% uh, here are in management and protective services is 11%. So military protective services, so people who are cops, etc., uh, probably have a higher probability of having spouses who are also uh, nurses as well. So what are some other things that we can look at uh, targeting? So, so here are some of the categories here of page likes that this particular audience likes. So we have a health and beauty, a public figure, the patriot nurse, okay. Let's see here, products and services, holsters, uh, let's see, uh, official U.S. concealed carry, which kind of makes sense considering that the majority of their employment is uh, in the military or protective services. Uh, you can also see uh, their political views, Rand Paul's, nonprofit organizations, NRA, and again, all of this stuff makes sense. And again, the Patriot Nurse is uh, is really standing out for for page likes here. So you really get a lot of good information about other ways that you can actually target uh, target this audience.
Also, let's take a look at their location. Where do these individuals reside at? So these are uh, some of the top cities, um, some of the top cities in the United States where these individuals uh, reside at uh, as well. Have a some substantial amount of people here in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's see if any other major cities stand out: New York, Chicago, Illinois, uh, L.A. Let's take a look at some of their activities. So you can see how engaged they are. Now, the number of times these selected audience perform these actions on Facebook based on their activity. So ads click 16, post like, etc. Uh, devices. So if you want to split up, you know, your your device, your targeting uh, two devices, you can get very specific as how you want to target that. It look it will appear as though that uh, the majority of interaction is on desktop and mobile, and uh, the types of mobile devices uh, would be iPhones and iPads. And you also got a good percentage here on Android too. So you get some real good data of different ways that you can actually break down, <coughs> excuse me, break down your targeting. If you want to look at their household income, we can see, okay, well, what does this target audience make? Well, most of them are in the range of, you know, 50 to $75,000 uh, um, in annual income. And that's 31% of this audience, okay? And, uh, you know, so you can target here say, hey, I want to target people who actually make, you know, 50 to 75,000 or more because you know that they have uh, disposable income. Most of these individuals are also homeowners uh, as well. So what are some of their spending methods? Well, most of them have uh, bank cards and credit cards, so that's great. So you know that they <laughs> they actually have money uh, to spend, and they ch generally focus on using credit cards when they spend their money. So what are their purchasing? Uh, a lot of retail purchasing. Uh, a lot of them have online purchases, so low to medium. Uh, and what do they buy mainly? Uh, so let's see, clothing, subscription services, pet products so this audience tends to have pets uh, as well so again a lot of information that you can garner for this what type of car do they drive um, well they drive uh, crossovers uh, pickup trucks SUVs small to mid-size uh, SUVs as well so again a lot of data so if I wanted to uh, basically I could just save this audience and say um, you know nurse spouse and now I actually have this audience available so now when I go to create my ads I already have this custom audience built of 450,000 to 500,000 people and I can go ahead and put some more restrictions in here as well if I as I want to um, but you know this really like I said gives you some some great insights now one of the things that I'm also going to recommend um, that you that you do and you should be doing this anyway is for every campaign you create you should be tracking everything and one of the real cool things uh, one of the re main reasons you really want to track is that um, as you get enough conversion data you can actually create a custom audience from people who are actually even who are proven to convert into leads or into sales whatever the case may be so now you know you have Facebook building out a profile of not only the people based on their interest and their psychographic and demographic but out of that group of people who are those people who are have the highest probability to actually convert into a lead or into a sale so when you actually have enough data through your conversion pixel you can actually come here and you can actually create um, you can create a custom audience from this so uh, for example if you know, if I wanted to use uh, this conversion data uh, for leads, I'll say, okay, I can come over here and I can say, okay, create a lookalike audience uh, based on the conversion data that I have here. So now I want to target similarity, um, similarity, United States. So now Facebook is going to take this conversion data and build me another uh, custom audience that I can then go after and target and again I can put some more psychographic demographic restrictions to make it even more targeted but uh, you should everybody should be doing this if, so if you're not using uh, conversion data to create additional custom audiences uh, you definitely should be so between your conversion data and audience insights you can use this for starters then take that uh, then take your conversion data 
and then you can actually drill down a little further so I, I hope this makes sense uh, again there's a lot of different options here but uh but what Facebook has done with audience insights is just nothing short uh, of amazing so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this go out there and crush it